Kamusta na mga kaadik? This is a quick and simple tutorial on how to wire or install a DC to DC step down converter on a 36 volts lithium ion battery pack. This tutorial is also applicable on higher voltage like 48 volts, 52 volts, 60 volts, and 72 volts battery. This is the DC to DC step down converter can convert high output voltage down to 12 volts 10 amp 120 watts power output. This step down converter is perfect for 120 watts load. Do not overload otherwise it will cause the converter to overheat. This is the stock battery pack of my Fido Q1S. It's a 36 volts lithium ion battery pack. Let's start. I provided the fuse box and soldered it on the positive line wire of the battery. It is ideal to install or add fuse when using a high voltage battery. The fuse will help avoid battery from catching fire when there is a short circuit happening or overflow of current. Make sure to solder well the connections and cover with heat shrink. Take note, while working on the positive wire and the negative wire of the battery, ensure the fuse box is empty. There is a possibility that these two wires will catch and touch each other. So you have to make sure the fuse box is empty until you're done making the wirings. I use a female XC30 connector for the discharge wire port of the battery. Always ensure to solder very well any connections and cover with a drink. The battery pack is ready. Next is the DC to DC step down converter. The black and the red are the input line wires of the converter. Black wire is the negative and the red wire is the positive. While the yellow and the blue are the 12 volts output line wires. Blue wire is the negative and the yellow wire is the positive. This is the battery capacity voltage indicator and I have already pre-soldered the connector. Red wire is the positive and the black wire is the negative. I also made an extension wire with connector to be used for connecting the battery capacity indicator. This time, I use a male XT30 connector for the input line wire of the converter. Finally, everything is ready. The battery pack, DC to DC step down converter, and the battery capacity indicator are ready to be connected. Since this step down converter is going to pull 10 amps from the battery, I provided a 15 amps blade fuse big enough to handle the current. Remember that the blue and the yellow wires are the output line wires of the converter. The blue is the negative line wire and the yellow is the positive line wire. As you can see the voltmeter shows 12.34 volts result coming from the output line wires of the converter. Since I'm actually using a 36 volts battery pack to make a 12 volts power output, I have to monitor how much voltage remaining. The battery capacity voltage indicator is needed. This is to identify if the battery voltage is getting low and needs to be charged. As you can see the battery capacity indicator shows the voltage of the battery. By the way, this wire is the charging port. I prepared a pair of 12V U7 LED fog light to test the converter. And I also prepared a one-way switch. I made a connector with two wires, black and red, to expose 12V output line wires of the step-down converter. This is only for testing the converter. I used a black alligator clip to link the negative line output of the converter to the two negatives of the U7 LED fog light.
the red alligator clip will be clipped on the positive line output of the converter and then going to the red wire of the switch. Now, this white alligator clip will be clipped on the blue wire of the switch, while the other side of the white alligator clip will be on the positives of the U7 LED fog light. Basically, the power from the converter will run through the switch wires going to the load when the switch is turned on. You can also add or put a fuse between the converter and the switch for safety purposes. Remember that the battery capacity indicator is only to show the voltage of the battery. You can turn it off, still the power flows. If not in use, you can simply disconnect the converter from the battery so that the battery can retain its charge. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to support my channel by liking, commenting, and sharing all my videos. At syempre, maraming maraming salamat mga ka-addict. Muli kayong naligaw sa channel ko. Ride safe lang palagi mga ka-addict.